Uh, oh, it's yeah. rocking the famous tiger tag. Oh, of course. Uh, oops. But yeah, Oats actually has been on a slight hiatus. Um, this is actually, I think, his second, maybe third tournament back. Uh, he used to be um, PR'd here in SoCal. Um, he's very good. He also has a very lengthy melee background. Yeah. Been playing this game for quite some time. Quite chic in melee, obviously. He's pretty much just carried it over. Yeah, his neutral... I mean, Sheik's neutral from both games is fairly similar for the most part. Yeah, she has just kind of the changes tend to be with like how her grab works. She doesn't really have the chain grab that she has in melee. Yeah. And some slight frame data and like hit knockback stuff I think got edited. But for the most part, she's at a basic level the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's like, just some the, minor tweaks. The way that you approach It's not like DK where they like completely like oh, yeah. made him viable. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I do think that like a lot of people claim that the changes made to her make her like slightly worse than she would be in melee. Yeah. Just because she doesn't have like the guaranteed tree grabs. Yeah, I heard I heard that the slap is a little bit weaker too. Yeah. So But I think I think in this game, I could I wanna argue that the chain grab is a little bit more devastating. Because for faster fallers it's like if you miss the DI, you get chain grab. But if you get the correct DI, you fall onto the floor. <laughs> so if they read the tech correctly, then it's kind of a GG. Yeah, and Oats is also another guy who has who was there during the days of IPK. So he does have that Lucario background, albeit it's been a while. What uh, was that? Okay. That could have been really cool. Okay, yeah, who was, wasn't shielding? But also was, he died either way. That so. was actually a really cheeky attempt because you could act, you could kind of never mind, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that that uh, SD from Oats evens it up. Ooh. I love that stuff. I actually really love that aspect of Lucario. Like his up B, I love. I don't like his up B as a recovery thing. Like it's like whatever. That might, might, that might be too good in my personal opinion as yeah. an idiot, like casual smasher. Yeah. But I think using up B to like continue combos or edge guard, I think that's like so dope. You right? Like like, like that. Like, oh my jeez, it looks oh, so nice. Watching that like this kind totally worked. Mm -mm. <laughs> All right, nice, nice fair. This is looking good for Poilu. He's kind of getting into his rhythm with this like uh, combo game right now. We got some needles. Oh no! I mean, Sheik is kind of on the other end of the spectrum with like a really bad recovery. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like basically every time Sheik gets off stage, I I feel like there's no reason for her to come back if you're playing it smart, depending on how close she is. Yeah. Like her, the, the only mix-up that Sheik does have is if there's a platform right there. Where yeah. if there's no platform. Yeah, uh, it's not looking too good. <laughs> yeah, and I imagine that's why we're gonna be probably going to a more platy based stage for yeah. uh, game two for Oats here. So Battlefield, I think Battlefield is one of Sheik's better stages. Approach it or allows for a lot of 45 degree what up? needles. Uh, they're um, actually not mine. Not entirely sure how well, <laughs> how much Oats. But likes if you're really into things. getting them, maybe just give me a dollar and I'll give a dollar to Switch. They're just in that box. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sure, that's fine. Yeah. Alright. But yeah, we're starting game two. Alright, let's With see. Big blue. Let's see if Oates is able to bring, oh, bring his game back. What a start to the match. <laughs> <laughs> Get hit by some projectiles. Let's go. This year. Oh, yeah. But yeah, we'll see if uh, Oates can make some adjustments. He started. Right. Oh, oh my! God. my. He so I don't think he can make it. Yeah, no. He no, didn't have yeah, a no, she anymore. definitely can't make it back from that. So that's a super devastating way to start this game. Um. Yeah, I want to just say that Poilu's combo game so far, it's been pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> it's been pretty good. <laughs> we'll see if, uh, oh, this is going to be key. Oh, it's a regrab. Keep knocking him back off stage. That's what these didn't think. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> the Poilu is, oh, he's getting too fancy now. <laughs> he does kind of have that stock to spare, taking game one and has a pretty solid lead so far. So I don't really feel like Poilu's stressing. Yeah. He might be willing to go for some, uh, some creativity. Oh, gosh. But also, you never really want to underestimate Sheik. Because I feel like Sheik is one of those characters where, like, once they start getting the momentum, yeah, once they start, Sheik can, like, oh. really frustrating the fight. Like, once uh, Sheik is able to, like... Like, especially that combo game. Yeah, like, once they have the read on you... Oh, man. Oh, the shield is getting so tiny. Oh, God. Yeah, so right now, Oats was able to bring it back pretty fast. Yeah, yeah, we're pretty much even. Oh, that should take it. Yeah. We're trying to space him out with some back ears right now. Oh, I love Sheik's little crawl. <laughs> okay, we got the regrab. Falling is such a weird mechanic. Oh, nice job. That. Ah, see, th that situation has happened quite a few times now where he, like, Oats knocks Poilu off stage, 
but then isn't able to or doesn't do anything yeah. after that. Like that has been really critical because he could have saved himself like 10, 20 percent right there. Yeah, that, that's what adds up. Like, I'm not a big fan of taking percent where you don't need to. Ooh, but this is like this is the sheet. Oh, oh. didn't get the. Reset. I think that's the second time he's missed the jab reset. Yeah. Oh. Oh, this is going to be hefty. Yeah, none of these needles have been working. He keeps throwing them, though. Yeah. I honestly feel like he should just go out in air or back air. I feel, I, like mean, I feel like going out in aerial is a better... Yeah, hold ledge back air covers like, so much space. Yeah, because like, the needles so far, he's just never... They haven't worked nice. once. That was actually really really sick. Oh, he's going to die. Yeah, Yeah, that was no actually way. really sick. He teched the stage and then immediately double jumped back towards the stage and down aired him. Right off. Really close to taking the star. The DI for Boyle has been great. He's basically read the down throw. Yeah, down throw the time. But that takes it. We might see game three. I don't know. I don't really feel like like Oates has been having it yet. Like he hasn't just been. He's just not been nailing the edge guards. I think. Yeah. And Boyle just been living the higher and higher percents. Well, oh, got the grab. But this is where he's been doing pretty all right. Yeah. Oh, this Oh, that's that's scary. So this is this is way closer now. Ooh, okay, we made it to the platy. That's a platy mixer. Oh, Oates is nervous. He's like, oh, he crawled under it. That's adorable. I don't know why. It just looks so funny. <laughs> oh, it's just an interesting mechanic. <laughs> right, and it's funny that only some characters can crawl. Like, she's a ninja. Of course she can crawl. I don't know if that was a shield drop. Lucario can also crawl for some reason. Oh, this should be it. Yeah, it's going to take it. Oh, oh wow, that was sick. Yeah. <laughs> that actually, I'm actually really surprised he lived. I thought he was done skis. Me too. Oh, what? but that's going to take it. All right. Yeah, really great I'm going to get off for now. I'm going to play some games. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, no worries. So, all right, well, stare at me. I'll move the glove cam. How's it going, people? We are making our way through Shark Tank. I don't know who's coming up next, but I'm sure it'll be dope. I'm gonna 